Trust Masters TM International Club, a non-profit educational organization, has underscored the need for adequate investment in skills development, particularly among women, to boost gender advancement. Mr. Jude Nadozie, President, Haslab TM Club, District 94, Division E, Area 30, Abuja, gave the advice in an interview with the News Agency of Nigeria, NAN, in Abuja. He spoke on the sidelines of the special edition of the club's bi-monthly meeting with the theme, The Leading Edge, in commemoration of the 2023 International Women's Day, IWD. When you join it, you meet other people and interpersonal skills are very important. So the things we learn in Toastmasters are enormous. We thought we should have a special meeting where we recognize and celebrate women. And by our theme, The Leading Edge, we thought we should try and put a spotlight on the things that women who have succeeded in their chosen fields have done to make them succeed. So we brought a lot of all these distinguished women. We call them distinguished Toastmasters because they've been Toastmasters for a while and they've conquered many grounds that we're looking to conquer ourselves. So when they came here true to the team, they gave us a lot of nuggets, a lot of things that not just women, not just young women, but we ourselves can do to succeed in our fields. In her address, Mrs. Stella George, Division E Director of Toastmasters International, urged people to participate in TM meetings to imbibe modern skills which could enable them tackle modern challenges. Here you're learning emotional intelligence, interpersonal skills, quick thinking, ability to organize a group of people, leadership which is what we need in today's Nigeria. How can we sit as a people and we allow those without competence to lead us? You need to volunteer to serve. Do not just wait for someone to call you. You know, we have people, they enjoy to just come, let people continue to serve them year in, year out. The question is, when are you? going to serve others. My favorite quote by Mahatma Gandhi, that the best way to gain yourself is to lose yourself in the service of others. And I can tell you that it is true. So if you're seated here this evening, oh, I'm just here to develop my public speaking skills. Oh, you will develop that public speaking skills. After that, what next? you need to build capacity and join the leadership team in order to support others as they are coming in. This is what makes the world go round. High point of the event was the panel discussion, which centered on gender equity, moderated by T.M. Ejura Obanachi. The panelists, which comprised distinguished Toastmasters, Stella George, Toju Koli, Soji Salo, Al Hassan Mohammed and Titi Ojo stress the need for women to understand how to strike a balance in pursuit of their career and taking care of their homes. It's really about being deliberate because we can be so suck, sucked in into the things that draw our attention truly, especially our professional career. Most of us want to be everything in our career. We, we can even break, we will climb the Great Wall of China for, for the world so that we can become that. But it comes at a sacrifice too. So you need to ask yourself, what am I sacrificing? Am I sacrificing my children because of this thing? Am I sacrificing my home? If I die in the process of becoming, then what happens? Wow. And you can become without dying. Ah, is that not it? To me personally, you understanding your core values mm -hmm. is critical because you can't please everyone. Mm -hmm. And mothers as nurturers, I think we're wired to be people pleasers and we, we just want to fix things. And at times you're trying to do that and guess what, you get burnt. So it's really, really important to understand that you know what, um, it might not be perfect, but guess what, you just start, you get on with it, you're juggling different balls, a few of them might drop, it's not the end of the world. Oh. As Steve Jobs said, you know, your ability to say no gives you a clear idea of when you're certain about your goals. You can't say yes to everything. So when you're trying to create this idea of work balance, when you know what your no's are, then you're better able to say yes. So clearly knowing what your no's are and uh, sticking to them. And um, 
you know, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not uh, as, as hard as that.